your specific person loves you. So drop the old stories about yourself and allow them to drop their old stories. Imagine what's coming next. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Hi Flyers. I'm absolutely thrilled. 1111 is coming November 11th. And by then we will have available to you at your favorite bookstore. 1111 magical affirmations, 1111. These are magical affirmations and it's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting book because you're going to use it as a resource for the rest of your life. So you may want to get two copies. I don't know, but it will be available by 1111. I want to also remind you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Find out what a mentoring program can mean for your life. The money you desire, the love you crave, the health and happiness and success that you deserve. Visit us at lawofattractionsolutions.com. We're here for you because that's what we do. We've helped people in 60 different countries. I know we can help you too. So whatever is going on between you and your specific person in your life, whether you're, you're broken apart, whether you're together, but it's not, not really smooth, whether you're just kind of to get to know each other and it's kind of gone cold. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios, but whatever is going on is what you've manifested up to this point. It is no reflection of what is coming. It's only a reflection of what you have created. Remember, say these words, I am creator. I create my own reality. I co-create with the infinite, with God, with the universe. And together I create my own life. Now, if you don't believe that if you believe that you're just a puppet or a marionette and everything is all planned out, then anything to do with the law of attraction is kind of worthless for you. You just need to uh, enjoy the ride. Part of changing your story, not only your own story, but the story of your relationship is to give up this notion that you need to know how it's going to work out. I just don't know, Robert, how it's going to work out. You don't need to know. All you need to know is that if you have clear intentions and you have strong beliefs and you do the inner work, something is going to change in the outer world. Something wonderful. We call it miraculous. I call it miraculous because sometimes even I don't believe it. I go, wow, that's a miracle. I didn't see that coming, but that's what happens. If you're willing to do the inner work, the outer world will change, but you don't have to know how it's going to happen. Look, high flyers. It's absolutely essential that you ignore the world around you, the 3D. I had a guy call me up yesterday. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to manifest. Okay, I'm excited. And then a few hours later, I got the same phone call from the same person. And he said, I heard she's with her boyfriend. I heard she's got a new boyfriend. And you could just feel the shift in energy from I'm ready to go. I'm ready to create a new committed, loving relationship to there's a boyfriend in the way. There's somebody she's seen right now. Hmm. Does that really matter? It doesn't to the universe, the universe. Look, 
The universe isn't judge and jury in that sense. The universe just simply says, what is your intention? What are you going to put your energy on? What are you going to put your focus into? And that's what you're going to get. Everything begins to shift and change because you are changing your inner story. And once you make a commitment to change your inner story, everything around you begins to shift. The law of attraction is always working to change your story and change your life. Your thoughts and beliefs shape the reality you experience. Louise Hay. Now, for those of you who don't know who Louise Hay is, she is the founder of Hay House, publishers of a lot of great authors, including the late Dr. Wayne Dyer. And Louise Hay is saying it clearly to you. Your thoughts and your beliefs shift your life. They change your reality. They change your relationship. But some of you, you're caught up in it. You know, you're just caught up in this, this trap, this emotional trap. When will it get better? When will it change? And you're focused on the past. You're focused on the pain. And Louise Hay also says, what you resist will persist. So stop fighting the past story of yourself, of your own beliefs about who you are and about your relationship. That's yesterday's creation. So make a commitment right now to stop hating. Stop hating the past. Stop hating yourself. Stop hating your partner. Stop hating the people that maybe have influenced your partner. Just stop the hating. Stop the fearing. There's no need to fear. Everything is going to work out for you. Stop focusing on the pain and on the doubt. Rather, change your story, which allows you to shift your beliefs and your thoughts and change your relationship. So another great quote, and I think this may be from Louise Hay, where focus goes, energy flows. Use ask formations. Now, an ask formation is something that is not quite an affirmation. It's an affirmation in the form of a question. We have a whole chapter on this in our forthcoming new book. It'll be out soon. But basically what you're doing is you're asking a question designed to elicit a feeling within you. Remember, it's not just through repetition that we attract. It's not just through pounding our fist or pleading with God. It's through feeling, feeling as if we already have what we desire. Here's an example affirmation. How would I feel if I knew I was worthy of the love that I desire? So how would you feel? You feel elated, you say? Then feel it. Allow your body to feel that happiness, that joy, that excitement right now. Because remember, the universe doesn't just give us what we want. It gives us what we are. So ask formations allow you to become what you desire. It, it really allows you to rewrite your story from the inside out, so to speak. Here's another example for you. How would I feel if my partner treats me with incredible passion and love and desire? How would I feel? Think about it your partner, your specific person, hungry for you, desiring you, wanting you, craving you. I love that word, craving you. You get what I'm saying? How would you feel? And then feel it, visualize it, see it in your mind and feel it. And another example that you could use, and these are just examples. You can write your own. How would I feel if I raised my own self-worth. If I felt absolutely wonderful about myself, about my confidence, about my personal power, about my body, about my magnetism, how would I feel? What are you going to do? You're going to feel it. That's the key. You see, high flyers 
Contrary to what other people may tell you, manifesting is not about blab it and grab it. It's about using your brain and your feelings to change or shift yourself, which then shifts and changes your reality. Feeling is the secret of successful prayer. Feeling is conscious awareness and conscious of being or possessing something. Neville Goddard. Neville says it right there. Feeling is the secret and ask formations will help you rewrite your story and get to a whole new set of feelings that you're focused on rather than those old tired feelings that are holding you back. So what would you feel if you were in total absolute demand by your specific person? What would you feel? That's your new story. That's your new belief. And that creates new feelings. Here are three things you can do right now to change your story and change your relationship with your specific person. Number one, daily scripting in present tense form. You're scripting first about who you are, what your relationship is about and where it's going. And you script it every day, a little bit differently, use different words, a different setting, but it's the same concept and it delivers the same feeling. And that's your new story. Yeah. Dig it. It's your new you create a new story for your partner as well. Perhaps they've been rude to you. Perhaps they've ghosted you. Perhaps they haven't given you the time that uh, you need. Perhaps they ignore you. Perhaps they want to break up with you. Rewrite a new story for your partner as well. And then rewrite the new story. So it includes the two of you as a relationship. So high flyers, I like to write and script in the morning and then reread it before I go to bed. That way it's kind of lodged in my subconscious mind. Next, if you really want to change your story, you need to get beyond just the level of affirmations. You need to get to the level where you make an oath to yourself a vow to yourself, a vow that you intend to keep that you're not going to break under any circumstance. There was a time I had let my whole life slip away. I had lost a lot of money, a lot of friends, my family. I lost cars. I lost homes. I lost everything. And I was in a dirty, dingy hotel room, but it's the only thing I could afford at that time. And it was Christmas Eve and I was alone and I was watching Christmas Eve stories on TV. You know, those little movies and things that they have at Christmas time. And I, I started to well up in tears and I was crying. And then I said, no, I'm not going to focus on the old story. I'm going to create a new story. And I vow to myself, I promise to myself that I will never, ever put myself in this position again. I will never go through a Christmas alone. I will never allow myself to sink so deeply into my pain and my fear and my sorrow. And the next morning, Christmas day, I started new. It was a new life. Oh yeah. Robert was on fire. A new life. I wanted to get going, but everything was closed on Christmas. Look at, I didn't do a thousand affirmations. I, I, by the way, I'm not against doing a thousand affirmations. That's good. It gets that energy into your subconscious mind. It gets those new beliefs back there and they're filled with energy. But what I did is I focused on one serious vow, promise, or oath to myself. And I've kept it ever since. What oath about your life are you willing to sit down 
in a dark room tonight and make to yourself. That's how you change your story. And then finally, high flyers, the third thing you can do is write out three, three powerful affirmations about who you are and how you intend to live and how you intend to be loved. Write them out and do it now. Here's an example. I am deeply loved because I am worthy of love. Next, write out three we are affirmations about you and your specific person, because you're not just reinventing yourself or rewriting your story for yourself. You're rewriting it for the whole relationship. So three more affirmations for your specific person and you as a couple, when you write out this affirmation, make certain that it is filled with love. It is filled with belief and certainty and commitment. High flyers. I can't think of anything more important in this world than love. You know, when a person is on their deathbed and they know they've got a day, maybe two to live. Nobody ever regrets that they didn't spend more time in the office or that they didn't spend more time at work, but people do have regrets about not loving, about not living, not being committed to a life of love. And I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about family. I'm talking about friends. I'm talking about your community. I'm talking about your business. I'm talking about your success. Do you love your success or is it just frustration to you? Do you love the company that you've started or is it just a lot of work? Do you really love the relationship you're in? Do you love the idea of having your twin flame in your life or your soulmate? I want to invite you to three days of love in Sedona, Arizona, three days in February, the month of love, February 16th through the 18th in the heart of the vortex in Sedona, Arizona. Join me along with a number of other incredible coaches from around the world. We're going to bring you three days of love. And I promise you, your life will be filled with love the very moment you leave and it won't stop. It won't fade away and you'll attract love into your life. You'll attract the one that you desire, or you'll attract a twin flame or a soulmate, or maybe you'll just have more love for every area and aspect of your life. Okay. Visit us at true love activation.com. Get all the information there. Sign up now because it's filling up. It really is. I want to see you there in February, Sedona, Arizona. Okay. Uh, here's another video I have for you. I've set it aside and I know it will help you on your journey.